Hey folks, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Here in the under, about to face off with Commander Venus, who will have our uh, second legendary beast snag. And uh, just like the first one, although the recording didn't really show it, she is a pain in the butt to fight. So you see our disc. Pretty sure right word should never be used in a sentence by any logical human being. And in we go. Now I like this because this is a new set. I, th I think it's a funny place to have a match. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Down here we have nothing of value, but in here we have something that can make the job a lot easier. Three rare candies. I'm gonna use two of them for a specific goal and one of them just for the heck of it. I want to give Altair two rare candies to reach level 40, uh, which will give us access to a certain move called Dragon Dance. An excellent, excellent move, which I'm sure I'll be using quite a bit in the future. And I guess I'll just use this other one on Montel. Gonna be a bit. Montel's gonna be a bit more useful than Ebony in this coming match, so. Hi. Here we go, third boss fight. Still such awesome music. Anyway, uh, the Venus is a pain in the butts. Uh, for, for one specific reason, is that she loves to abuse a tract. And that can be annoying if you only have Pokemon of a single gender. Luckily I have Ebony on my side. I realize Ebony is probably just Bioplume Powder, but still gonna be pretty useful, I think. Use the Dragon Dance. The attack boost is really what I want here, not really the uh, <laughs> not really the uh, speed boost since Altair is plenty fast already. Probably gonna use it once more once Vileplume is out of the way. But I want to get Vileplume out of the picture so it doesn't bother uh, Ebony. Unfortunately, such will not be the case. Look at that. Ugh. So much damage. This is where Ebony's slow speed really kind of comes into play. So I'd love to be able to take out Delcaddy uh, on this turn. Oh no, I should have gone for the second dragon dance. But yeah, Delcaddy can do things like this, so... Goddamn. Let's throw in Leif, since... Leif can handle Vioplume a bit better on this one off turn. Still did terrible amount of damage, but more than I would have liked. Uh, so let's set up the second Dragon Dance, and hopefully take care of Vileplume with a Body Slam. Because when you know what's coming in next, you want to be set up. Oh. Other one, please attract life. No. Good, 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 good. And we can actually take care of. Now yeah, let's go for this. Just to avoid any potential attractions. Oh, and wow, that really did piss damage. Ah, that actually did a lot. That's more than what I expected, considering how bulky Leaf's supposed to be. Mm. I don't. 
remember which one Altair is attacking. But it won't matter because uh, life is very slow, especially because of paralysis. Right. Well, I suppose that's a logical choice. I love that death animation, by the way. It's such a great animation. That's one of the reasons I kind of like them reusing models from stadiums, because they have things like that. Ah. Can't say I'm surprised. But this gives Mattel its free switch in, so I suppose that's acceptable. Not in an ideal situation here. Just take care of Del Caddy like that. And I think we are done with the attractors. Unless Steelix uses attract, but seriously, who'd be attracted to that? Ooh, in a minute. Why, why does Venus have male Pokemon? That's the question. I, I suppose to make better use of the attract strategy, but... Most NPCs just have the same uh, gender that they do. They are. Yeah, pretty run of the mill here. No attraction going on, so should be able to take care of Steelix. Or it'll hang on by a sliver of an HP, hopefully not. Maybe looks like it. Yeah. Also, Shadow Bar. Shadow Ball is physical in this generation, so unfortunately Montel is kind of wrecked by it. Not fun. And this rock slide will probably be the finishing blow. Oh, sweet. And if all goes according to plan, I won't have to worry about being attacked this turn, so I can heal next turn. Critical to boot. Critical actually would have done the same amount of damage here, because critical doubles the damage, plus two uh, attack from Dragon Dancing does the same thing. And here's the man of the hour, Suicune. This thing can go to hell. Don't get me wrong, I love bulky Pokemon, especially bulky waters. There's too many of them, but they're very cool Pokemon to use. Um, this thing is a pain in the ass to snag, as you might predict. Alright, so, step one. Fly. One fly ought to do it. Don't really want to do any more than that, otherwise it will probably be dead. And Shadow Rush whittle itself down a little bit, that's kind of nice. It would have been nice if Montel had Water Absorb, since that would uh, absorb any Surfs that we can throw out. Don't want to use Supersonic, that would be bad. Let's... yeah, Bubble Beam gonna do this damage, so let's go for that. I want to whittle it down. Whittling is the way to go. Alright, that's decent. Let's uh, switch over to Dragon Breaths from now, from now on. Actually, I could afford one more fly. The critical would screw me over, though, so I'm a little skeptical. I actually did more than I liked. But, uh. That seems to me my catchphrase for this. This did more than I would have liked, or less than I would have liked. This would be sort of nice, but I'd kind of rather have it uh, asleep. Alright, let's sing it. Bubble beam it. And it should be in prime snagging condition after this turn. Alright, it's in the red. That's that's good. Ooh, speed drop. That's useful if this goes on any longer. And I can... 
I can afford another bubble beam. Gotcha! Oh, come on. What is this? What is this? I had two failed attempts before this, and again, I get it on the first ball. If this happens for Raikou, I am going to file a lawsuit against 